Hi, Paul. I'm awake. Thanks for this opportunity. I just wanted to clear up some things um, about your email last night with the applications of the setup block. So, Jesse, if you could pan in here. I use it, the application I use it for the most, Paul, is just as a feeler gauge and setting up the height of the dado blade for a dado or a rabbit application. If I want to use a rabbit, I would grab, so for example, if I wanted 3 8 thick, I'd grab my 3 8 setup block, I would set it as a feeler gauge, I'd use my finger and set the height, and then if I wanted the rabbit a quarter inch away from the back, so for example, a back and a cabinet, I would put my quarter inch block up against the fence, slide it over, bump it out against the edge of the blade, and now I'm ready for a 3 8 deep quarter inch wide rabbit for a back application. So, and they all are right here, so I don't have to be searching for a tape measure clumsy, measure it, um, it's all easy, don't have to be searching for anything, it's all right on top of my fence. So I use these all the time with kids, it's easy for them to set up. One thing that you did mention is this notch that was notched out. So, I, I, yeah, that brings up an interesting point. And maybe the customer would like to do it like this, which is fine because that would bump this, that would raise this up and they could actually see the height that way by raising the blade and bumping that up against this surface. And maybe this notch should correspond with each block. So this be a half inch notch, on the 3 8 be a 3 8 notch, on the quarter inch be a quarter inch notch, and so on. So it would stair step, it would look a little different, uh, aesthetically it would look a little different, but maybe that would be the right application, or the right uh, thing to do for each block. Hmm, interesting Paul, that's a good thought. So one other thing that I use it for, Paul, is on the bandsaw, and this is a really neat application. I'm going to take you over here, Jesse. Since bandsaw fences are, a lot of them are metal, this is such a neat application because you can snap that right to the fence. You don't have to worry about that moving. You can slide that up there and bump that right up next to your blade. So for resawing applications, now just slide that out and you're ready to do your resaw application. Um, a, lot of re a lot of resaw applications you're going to sand down to the line with a, with a surface sander anyway, and so you're not trying to be real accurate. So this makes it so nice for the bandsaw. I've used this a lot too. We may want to think about a eighth inch block. So a set would come with four. It would give you more combinations with an eighth inch block. They do make a 1 64th inch thick uh, earth magnet. Uh, and look that up. So that may be a thought also. The other thing is I just did some research on the product, whether it was out there on the market, a setup block per se, and they have metal setup blocks, Paul, or Woodpecker came up with a, a metal setup block that was a limited time run, and I'm not sure what their business model, how that is. They make a limited amount and they sell and then they're done. So it, maybe you're familiar with that and I'm not really familiar with that business model. But anyway, uh, it just comes in a kit and it doesn't lock on the machine. So the nice thing about these is they never go away from the machine. You have them all right there when you need them. So Paul, I really look forward to this opportunity and the process. Uh, keep in touch. All right. Thank you.